Okay everyone, let's talk about how to make almond milk. Um, so, yesterday I soaked one cup of almonds in water. I just made sure they were all covered and I left it overnight. Um, they need to be soaked for 8 to 48 hours is what you should do. You're going to drain out that water. What that does is make the almonds soft enough that they can be blended um, and they make them easier to digest. So you're going to put that in your blender and then you're going to add four cups of, uh, just not still, filtered water. Um, you can do less, some people do three if they want the milk a little thicker. Uh, because I use it in my shakes, I don't really care how thick the milk is. I'm more doing bang for your buck. Um, a lot of people will add a pinch of salt. This brings out a little bit of sweetness um, in the almonds. You can also add other items as well. Some people add it in the blender. Some people mix it in after it's all strained. It's entirely up to you. Um, some ideas are honey, vanilla extract, um, maple syrup, cinnamon, or nutmeg. Um, I'm sure there's other options. I did see one video where the girl put a prune in because um, she wanted it really sweet. Typically, I buy unsweetened almond milk, um, so I'm not going to sweeten mine right now. I may end up sweetening it, sweetening it later um, because... I've heard that this tastes more almondy than the almond milk that you buy in a store, even if you're purchasing unsweetened almond milk in the store. Okay, so the key is to really blend this up. So we're going to put the blender on. shop their almonds. Someone had posted that her big Y um, sold almonds in bulk. Mine does not, but I was able to get a pound of almonds in a bag for $6.99. Um, I called Cornucopia in Northampton. They were actually pretty expensive. It was $8.99 a pound. Um, Whole Foods in Hadley was $6.99 a pound, just like Big Y. And Atkins Farm, if you're local to the area, which was the cheapest, was actually only $4.99 a pound. So I'll do out some math after and see if this is more effective. Okay, so we're going to um, get a big bowl. We're going to put a metal strainer in it. You don't have to use the metal strainer, especially if you're using a nut milk bag because um, it'd be a little bit finer. Or you can double up a lot on the cheesecloth. I, again, like to save money, so I'm just using a, um, a double-layered cheesecloth instead of, like, four. And then you're just going to jump it through the strainer. Go slow so that you don't overflow. This is to get out any extra little bits of almond. Strong Molson, you don't like me making almond milk? All right, and then you're gonna spend a couple minutes 
squeezing out all of the milk. Um, I did, and one thing I read, read that sometimes people will mix walnuts into the almond milk. Um, so that's an option too, especially if you are trying to save money, walnuts are a little bit cheaper. Um, you could make pure walnut milk if you wanted. too much, okay? Um, so I'm going to take a little sip, see if I want to add anything to sweeten it. Hmm, it's not bad. I actually am going to sweeten it just a little bit with some um, vanilla. <laughs> I do normally buy vanilla, I'm sorry, unsweetened almond milk, but this really just tastes like straight up soaked almonds, which is good. Um, but if you wanted a little bit of sweetness to it, which I find even the unsweetened almond milk to have a little bit of sweetness. So I'm just going to add a little bit. About a teaspoon of, all, um, of the vanilla. You could blend it again if you wanted. I'm just going to stir. and do the math for you guys and in the little description of the video I'll let you know if this ended up being cheaper but it is pretty delicious so I'm looking forward to it. Um, I did see in one post only that they said they only keep their almond milk for four days. Um, <laughs> so I don't know how accurate that is of how long this will keep but I'm going to plan on making portions that I can use within four days in the future. Alright, thanks so much!